What's going on, y'all? Sensei Triple Three back at it again. Another stock car support. Extended, of course. Y'all, we know we've got the moon in Taurus and in this transit. Y'all gonna get this early. I'm trying to push it out for y'all a little early, so you know what I'm saying? Y'all can y'all can surf the currents a little bit better, things of that nature. But we're still about 28 degrees with the moon. As I'm recording this, the moon is about 28 degrees in Taurus. About to move into Gemini. Um, it is Saturday. Midday Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Things of that nature. So going into Sunday. It's Saturday night into Sunday. The moon's going to be going into Gemini. We're already in the cusp. So some of you guys may be already feeling it to where you're no longer fo so focused on, you know, after you develop the, the understanding, the values towards your relationships, you know what I'm saying, and things of that nature, which relationships you, you deem valuable, right, based upon that second house, based upon your own, your own, your own values, right, so, and it would be based upon your identity and what you want to put out, since we had that full moon in Aries, right, so it's all a transition, it's all kind of like connect, the plane, connect the dots, right, so we have the, the full moon in Aries, having us hone in on our identity, what we want to put out, focus on self. Taurus, understanding our value system towards our relationships so we understand, all right, based upon this new identity that we're curating, right, with, the, with, with, with Aries, based upon this new identity that we're shaping and curating, Taurus is understanding the value systems and you're, you're cultivating your own value systems, right, and understanding your values and Understanding that certain your your values may be different than other values, and that may hinder certain relate hinder or push forward certain relationship dynamics, whether it's intimate or business. So be mindful of that as well. And then we going into Gemini to where after we understand our value system towards our relationship dynamics, this is when you're riding the shift, right? You're able to then communicate your values, network your values, maybe even have more conversations about people, places, and things that you do value, right? And that's true to you. And it's kind of more so it's kind of more so communicating and having the conversations about those things that you've been going through, deeming valuable and understanding who you are at your core, right? Um, Taurus moon also deals with, obviously Taurus, you know, um, is ruled by Venus. Venus also rules Libra. So the Taurus moon can also deal with um, legality and law as well little bit here and there so you may notice your foundation um like the the, the the direct the direct law correspondence with taurus could be towards your foundation or your stability so however that may be playing out it may be affecting your stability and things of that nature your foundation right now based upon some something that you thought was valuable that you may have acted on in the past or whatever the case may be and um, it plays up with that energy of, of law right here with Taurus, and it, it shakes your stability. So especially with Libra energy right now, too, the sun's in Libra, it all has to do with law. So with that being said, it's law towards, it's, 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 it's the law towards, you know, what you deem, what you thought was valuable in the past based upon your actions and things of that nature. You know, now you're realizing that those things are no longer valuable to you, et cetera, based upon you not having a stable foundation, right? So this is, this is you have to understand, you have to understand these things, right? So when you miss shifts or whatever, you're unaware you know, um, and you may not know exactly, you know, what steps to take and stuff like that. And you don't necessarily need to know astrology to know, all right, what you need to do. But um, there's a lot of distraction and narrative that are, people are caught up in, the collective is caught up in that a lot of times we're, we're, we're not focused on what we need to actually be doing or we can't even tap in or pick up on the natural energies that we should be playing out. Um, because we do play these out, these energies out naturally, but because we're so distracted and caught up in other things, um, it doesn't necessarily play out the way it should be, you know, and then sometimes we have to play catch up and et etc. Cetera, et cetera. So when you're aware of, of what's going on and what needs to be done in the, in the actual moment, then you can actually act on that, uh, precisely, preci you know what I'm saying? With, with precision, um, so let's get into it. So, I, I, you know, with the moon in Gemini, this is a very social energy, too. I'm feeling like this is a very social transit for those who are, um, who, who, you know, this is a very good time to be social. So if you decided to get social or wanted to be getting social, it would be a good time to do so now. Um, Gemini is very communicative. Libra is, is very um, socializing, deals with relationships, friendships, etc. So you could be connecting with friends, old friends, or communicating with, with old friends, etc. 
or just, you know, current friends, whatever the case may be, business partnerships, right? Right now is a very good time to kind of come together and network and talk and discuss mastermind kind of energy, um, a lot of communication type energy. Right now, it's a good time for like for those in business, good time for seminars, um, good time for 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 discussions. Write that. It's, it's, it's also good for writing. Gemini is great for writing. Libra, air energy, thought patterns. So, you know, write that, write that book, write that journal, take the notes, um, do that seminar you know, do those communication, do those calls right now, like, that's, that's a, a very good energy, especially with Jupiter on your side, you communicating these things will actually um, probably be probably be very lucky for you and actually be a benefactor uh, with Jupiter there and, and can possibly welcome in some abundance in your life based upon you actually not being afraid to communicate what you want to communicate here. As we move forward, just to go into some of the uh, the moon the moon uh, aspects, right? So the moon is in conjunct Mercury. Obviously, Mercury is in uh, Scorpio right now. So the in conjunction plays out. Obviously, in conjunctions are always a little a little iffy, a little odd. It's it's more so odd. Um, I wouldn't say they're difficult transits. They're just odd transits. Um, you know. So with, with with the moon here in Gemini, right? What's going on, buddy? That's just one of the dogs here. Uh, the moon in Gemini. In conjunctions are like mis they're like misunderstandings, right? I like to say, um, and it's really like with the moon here emotionally and communicating. It's like you, it may be like like you just communicating certain things is like different than psycholo psychologically understanding why you're communicating certain things. So I think like that's like the in conjunction with that, right? So. It's like you're you're understanding psychologically why you're communicating. You're not just talking to talk or just communicating to communicate for no reason, right? You, with Mercury and Scorpio, you're communicating based upon the depths of, of, of your ability to do so, right? So you don't really... It's like you, it, right now the energy is, is not really care, caring to talk or communicate, but to do so and with those who have some sort of depth, right, um, to where you have some sort of meaning and reasoning, some sort of connection to why you're communicating, right, that's that Scorpionic energy, and then we have, um, obviously we're opposed, we have opposition to Venus right now, and Venus just entered Sagittarius, so Venus and Sag, so it's all those guys, I actually have a Venus in, uh, in Sagittarius, but, uh, cuss, so with the opposition to Venus, yeah, so Sag and Gemini is playing out as that opposition right now. Um, you know, it's it's going to be... You want to be very free towards your relationships and business partnerships, um, especially how you communicate. You know, um, Sag in, in, in Venus and Sagittarius is free love. You know, freedom of freedom to love, right? Freedom to connect. Um, freedom to make money however you want to do it. Because you know the meaning and reasoning of why you want to do it. Sagittarius is that God's godly signature, right? And um, it's always backed by meaning and reasoning, right? So, and they, like, it's going to be a bunch, could be, could be offering new experience, new and fresh experiences with your, within your relationships right now. But with that being said, you may want to be free towards your relationships. And then Gemini, the moon there, emotionally, you might want to communicate um, communicate to you towards your relationships, but at one side, your relationships want to be free, and like, it, it, it's really funny because we want to be free and express ourselves however we want, but we also want to communicate. <laughs> so it's playing out like it's, play, it's kind of play. It could be playing out as a uh, just opposite energy, and it could play out as a, as a little bit of a frustration or a nick, you know, one of those little things. Um, but traditionally. You know, emotional communication is healthy and how you how you feel towards, you know, the other people are healthy. But it's really communicating why you want to be free or why you value your freedom in certain ways, right? With with Venus ruling Taurus, it's value. Um, Venus, you know, ruling over Libra's relationships uh, and business partnerships, right? And, and, it's, and it's the freedom to experience those things, right? How you want to, how you want to experience them too, like... 
it's like there's one on one hand there's experience on the other hand there's communication right so like you can talk about doing something or you can do it at the same time and it's like venus and sag wants you to just experience with but the moon here wants you to communicate and like discuss about the experience and why you should be experiencing certain things and and, and stuff like that so with the moon there in gemini guys it's very just very chattery very fast very quick-witted um try not to overthink or maybe talk yourself out of certain things uh with with sagittarius venus and sag it is optimistic energy so if if you were if you were going to talk yourself out of anything right now towards any relationship or business partnership it would be because of that because of that right just talking yourself out of it quick-witted overthinking um but jupiter wants you to experience your business partnerships and relationships directly like go go live that go be that right learn wisdom from that gain wisdom from that and that's what uh that's what that venus and sagittarius is all about it's the experience of of true relationships that you that you deem valuable and it's the freedom of it's the freedom to live that the freedom to embody that right we also have this um sag um gemini moon sorry uh conjunct let's see yeah, Jupiter, as I said, conjunct Jupiter. So, yeah, Jupiter on your side, a lot of abundance. Communication is here um, as well. And then with, with, with us being conjunct Jupiter, it may be good to just communicate because communicating why you want to experience your relationships and experience your business partnerships could be a very good thing and could actually usher in some uh, some abundance here, which is very good. It can, be, can turn out very prosperous for you if you actually communicate towards your spouse and business partnerships um, where you're at or why you want to make the money you want to do in your own way you know because venus is, is finances as well material earnings and sag is freedom why do you what, what's the reason reasoning behind why you don't want to do something or why you do right communicate that right now jupiter is on your side and you communicating that is going to show you is going to show truth and integrity and the planets will uh, will award you for that we have the last last little transit here we have the moon square saturn so obviously we know saturn is in pisces little square, little friction, little frustration towards your foundation, towards your stability, a little bit of discipline as well. Um, maybe you've been lacking discipline towards your creativity or maybe communicating that. Um, don't be shy when it comes to communicating your belief. <laughs> don't be shy when it comes to communicating um, your creativity. And it may be tough to discipline yourself right now because there's too much communication or too much quick-witted energy or childlike fun energy. Gemini is very fun in the emotion, so you may lack discipline in this energy when the moon is here, right? Because it's, it's, it's more so outside, more so communicative, um, more so very fun and things of that nature. So you're going to lack the discipline in terms of seeing the dream, seeing the reality, right? Um, the square, the square is that, that, that direct that direct friction towards the towards the foundation here. You're squaring off with your dreams based upon the fun you, you know the fun that you want to have, right? So you may you may want to have you may want to act on your dreams or develop the, have the discipline to do something towards your dreams, right? Um, but that Gemini energy you may you may be wanting to have fun instead. So if you don't have the discipline with Saturn, you probably won't act on your dreams or communicate that. You may go and have the fun. Um, with the Gemini energy of the moon, right? Because that's the influence. We're always influenced by these certain energies. So I'm not saying any energy is worse or... or would it, the Gemini energy would be would be the best with Jupiter here. It's more positive. Um, but that's, that's just a little... God damn. That's just a little square. Oh, shit. That was crazy. That was just a little square. Um, that thing was, like, ridiculously huge. I couldn't let that land on me right there. But, um... Uh, yeah, guys. So, with that being said, we almost you almost done this one. So, but yeah, there's certain planets who are obviously better or worse. Um, obviously, Saturn is a more is a more disciplinary, um, malefic, you know, discerning type type energy, right? Saturn was the original and before Pluto was discovered and things of that nature, power, control, stability, foundation, right? Um, so, with that being said, squaring Saturn. 
But the square to Saturn, guys, may stop you from having fun because Saturn is like that disciplinary energy, right? So you have to, it's like that father figure. And you have to remember, if you're out having too much fun, Saturn may just slow your ass down in some way, shape, or form, right? Like that, like Saturn may slow your ass down in some way, shape, or form and let you know that you should be focused on your dreams and not just about having fun or short-term fun. Saturn is like, Saturn is, is all about long-term um, delayed gratification, right? So with the moon in Gemini, it's all instant. You have to remember, if uh, if you're having too much fun, Saturn may, Saturn may uh, play that energy out right there. Especially if it's not in alignment to maybe like Jupiter, it's, it's, you know, you're not experiencing this communication and things of that nature um, to where you can, you know, experience your relationship dynamics and stuff like that, develop more wisdom from it, interact with it. If you're not learning anything from it, I think Saturn, that square from Saturn may, uh, may come in there to be, be like, be like your, 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 uh, your older father. Just slap you on the head real quick, sit you down, um, to let you know that what even if you even when you are having fun, you know there's always something to take away from that experience. So with that being said, keep that in mind, y'all. If you want to learn anything about me, y'all check down below description box. Subscribe or don't, doesn't matter.